The announcement of plans to extend our virtual instruction until January 15th went out on Wednesday this week. I have no plan changes to announce, however, I would like to provide some clarification for the limited number of students who are receiving direct in-person services and using our transportation services to get to school. In the event of a weather delay or cancellation, students receiving in-person services will instead receive alternative services in a virtual format. Communication of these decisions will be made in the same manner that we have previously used. Skylert messages will be sent and we will also post these messages on social media. Because the group of students who are being served changes from day to day, a general Skylert message will also be sent to all families in the district as we've done in the past so as not to exclude anyone. The COVID slide has been in the news recently. That's the term that's been applied to the learning loss in students due to the disruption of normal educational services. I'll be sharing information with the school board next week that indicates academic progress in reading and math in kindergarten through eighth grade as measured by the NWEA. Admittedly, there are areas where there were slight decreases in student performance, but overall the indication is that our students have not experienced the slide that has been in the recent news. I am posting the results of the NWEA scores on board docs to be shared with the school board for next week's meeting. If you're interested in seeing those results, open the board docs link and go to meetings. The results will be posted under the superintendent's report and available for public view on Tuesday afternoon next week. Additionally, there will be a reporting next week on the most recent panorama survey results. These results indicate the progress made to address student perception of their teacher's concerns for them and the student's sense of belonging by comparing their recent responses to last year's responses. I'm pleased to say that despite the challenges of this year, or perhaps because of them, areas of concern have significantly improved. Our teachers have taken to heart the concerns raised last year and addressed them in a number of ways, which I'll discuss with the school board next week. As with the NWEA information, these results will also be available on board docs next week under superintendent's report. Next week's school board meeting will have limited in-person capacity. However, one of the persons in attendance will be Dr. Crystal Thorpe, principal of Fishers Junior High. I invite you to watch the live stream of next week's meeting to witness the recognition of Dr. Thorpe, who was selected by her peers as the 2020 Indiana Middle School Principal of the Year. Recognition of our staff's good work just doesn't happen often enough. But when it does, and it's at a state or national level, it deserves a special moment. And that's what's on the agenda for next week, a special moment for Dr. Thorpe. I hope you will take the time to observe it. Thank you.